Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we'll do the part two of the same topic and we'll continue with the exercise 8.1. So you have already done question, four questions before. So this is the fifth one. So you have to convert the following percentages in decimal. So this is the question given. So whenever you see the percentage sign means you have to divide it by 100. So 14 divided by 100. So now how to write it in decimal. So now see in the numerator is 14. So what will you do? You will see the denominator, the number of zeros are 2. So you will go from right to left, two numbers, and then put a decimal. So that is 0 0.14. Now this is 3 integers, 3 by 4. So this makes, we have to make it to improper 1. So 3 integers, 3 by 4. So this is going to be 12. 12 plus 3 will be 15. 15 by 4 percentage. So now what will you do here? To simplify this to what we can do, we can make the denominator 200, then it becomes easier for the calculation. So now how will you do this one? So you will write here, 4 multiplied by 25 is 100. So this is multiplied by 25, so this also should be multiplied by 24. This is what I have written. Again, the percentage sign will be as it is. Now this, when you multiply, that is going to be 375, this by 100. Again, the percentage sign is as it is. Now what will you do? We have to remove the percentage sign means we have to divide it by 100. So this will be as it is. And then again, you are going to divide it by 100. So this step is very important. So now the percentage sign is gone. So this is the numerator and this is the denominator. So denominator, you can write it over here, one. So this you are going to denominator, you are going to flip over, numerator as it is, and the denominator flipped over. So this is going to be 375 divided by 10,000. So now again you are going to write this one, this same number, 1, 2, 3, 4. So you will go backwards 4, so you need one more number, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then put a decimal. So this is the answer. So now here, 37.5 percentage. So you can write here 37, you will remove the percentage sign means you will divide it by 100. Now this to make it simple because here is the decimal first. So we can write here 375 because often one number is a decimal, you will divide it by 10. And this is same. So this is the numerator, this is the denominator you are going to divide it by 1. So this will get flip over. So this remains the same. So this is going to be 1 by 100. So this is going to be 375 divided by this 1000. So 375 will write as it is. 1, 2, 3. So you will go backwards 3 and put a decimal. So 0 0.375. Now here, 12 integers 2 by 5. So this will be 60. 60 plus 2 is going to be 62. 62 divided by 5. So now let us make this one as 100. So this is my going to multiply by 20, this also by 20. So this is one of the way, there are many ways to do it. So you can do it, this is like, if you get the denominator as 100, so it will be easy for the calculation now here. So this is what I said, we have to multiply by 20, both the sides, numerator as well as the denominator. So now here, this is 100, this is going to be 1240, percentage sign as it is. Now you are going to remove the percentage sign, so you are going to divide it by 100. So this remains as it is, and this is divided by 100, so the percentage sign is gone. So this is the numerator as it is, denominator here, so this is going to get flip over, so that will be 1 by 100. So this is the same, this is going to be 10,000, so 1240, 1, 2, 3, 4, you will come backwards 4 and put a decimal. So this is the answer. This is 5 integers, 1 by 4. So this will be 20, 20 plus 1, 21 by 4. So now we will make this 200. So multiply by 25. Same step. This will be 5, 25, 100. Now we will remove the uh, this percentage sign. So divide by 100. This remains the same. So the percentage sign is gone. This is the numerator. 
this is the denominator we'll flip over so this is the flip one the numerator remains the same 525 divided by 10,000 so 525 1 2 3 4 you will come backwards for you are going to put one this zero and then a decimal so here 8 18 18 plus 1 19 by 2 percentage we will multiply by 50 to make it 200 so this is the step this is going to be 950 by 100 this is the percentage sign now we will remove the percentage so that is going to be get divided by 100 this remains the same numerator this is the denominator this will get flip over numerator the same this will get flip over 1 by 100 950 when you divide it that will be 10,000 so we'll write a 950 1 2 3 4 come backwards 4 so you need one zero and then a decimal so this is the answer express the following percentages as fraction in the lowest term now this first will remove the percentage sign so you are going to divide it by 100 so 5 ones are 520 are so this is the low in the lowest term again here 70 by 100 this and this goes so that is going to be 7 by 10 now this how are you going to make this will be 99 plus 1 100 by 3 percentage so you are going to remove the percentage sign so this the same divided by 100 this is the numerator this is the denominator will get flip over so that is 1 by 100 and this remains the same so this and this gets cancelled so answer is 1 by 3 24 plus 1 25 by 2 percentage remove the percentage sign so that is going to get divided by 100 this is the same numerator this is the denominator so this gets flip over numerator the same flip over means 1 by 100 25 ones are 25 fours are 100 so this is going to be 1 divided by 4 twos are 8 so this is the answer 150 percentage you will divide it by 100 this is the same this and this goes off 5 twos are and 5 threes are so answer is 3 by 2 here this will be 99 99 plus 1 is 100 100 by 9 percentage remove the percentage sign so that is going to get divided by 100 this remains the same this is the numerator this is the denominator so this gets flip over numerator the same this is the flipped over so this and this gets cancelled remaining is 1 by 9 in a class four students out of 40 were absent what percentage of the students were was present so now here four out of 40 means total number of students is 40 so in that one number of students absent that is four students so we can write a number of students absent is equal to four so now what we have to see first we can, we are not going to find directly the percentage but we have to see that we have to see that number of students present from the these are the total numbers and from that these are absent so total minus number of students absent so that will be 40 minus 4 that is going to be number of students present is 36 now we are going to see the percentage they have asked for the percentage of the students that were present so percentage of students present will be this is 36 number out of how many total was 40 so total will be always in the denominator so 36 out of 40 and for percentage you are going to multiply by 100 this is the total this is the number of students present and you are going to multiply by 100 to find out the percentage so what will you do here you will write your four nines are and your four tens are 36 by four so this is going for by 40 you will be you will divide this one that will be 9 by 10 so this is 9 by 10 so this will be 10 ones are and 10 tens are so what will be here 10 nines are that is going to be 90 percent so percentage of students present are 90 percentage a shop has 500 bulbs out of which 75 are defective what percentage of bulbs is defective so total number of these 500 bulbs means total number of bulbs that is 500 and the number of defective pieces are how many 75 so these are 75 so first we have to see the now here they said percentage of bulbs 
which is defective. So we know already the defective bulb. So 75 out of here, this is total. Into percentage means you are going to multiply by 100. So 100 ones are 100 fives are. 5 ones are 5 15 are 15 fives are 75. So that is going to be 15 percentage of them are defective bulbs. In a medical college, there are 200 sets out of which 50 are reserved. What percentage of sets is reserved? So we'll write here total number of sets in medical college that is 200. Number of reserved sets is that is 50. So we want the percentage of sets which is 50 out of this 200 total number and percentage so means you are going to multiply by 100. So this and this gets cancelled. So what will be here? 2 ones are 225 are that, that is 25 percentage. Now Mayank has scored the following marks. Find the percentage of marks in each subject. So these whatever are there, this is already given table, whatever with the other one. These all things are given. So you have to find out these columns, percentage of marks. So what did they say in English? That is marks obtained is 45 and maximum now is 50 means 45 out of 50 but then you want a percentage means always you are going to multiply by 100. So what will be that 50 ones are 52 are. So this is here yeah, this is 90 percent. Now this see I have written it in this column itself. I didn't do it on the other on the rough tire, this one page because it becomes easier to understand. So it's a bit messy but it is easy to understand. So now here 35 by 50 and here this will be again multiplied by 100. So 50 ones are 52 are. So this is going to be 70 percent. Now in mathematics he got marks obtained is 21 out of 25. So 21 out of 25 into 100 percentage means 21 one, 25 ones are 25 fours are. So that is going to be 84 percentage. Now here in social studies that is 28 out of 40 in 200. So what will you do here? This one zero this gets cancelled. So you can write your four ones are or you can write your four tens are and four sevens are. Anyways you can write it. So this is going to be 70 percent. Now here 18 by 25 into 100. So 25 ones are 25 fours are and 18 fours are is 72 percentage. So these are the answers. In an examination, 91% of the candidates pass and 18 fail. How many candidates appeared in the examination? So that we can write total number of candidates be X who appeared in the examination. This is X. So now number of candidates pass, they have given here 91 percentage. So percentage of failed candidates will be how much from 100 percentage, 91 is gone. So that is going to be 9 percentage is the failed candidates. So number of candidates is said they are failed is 18. So what will you write here? 9 percentage of what? This X means of total is what is 18. So we have to write here 9. This percentage means that will be 100 divided by 100. Of means multiplied X is equal to 18. So X is going to be 18. This goes here means that is going to get multiplied. And this will go in the, because this is in the numerator, it is changing the side, it will go in the denominator. So 9 ones are 9, 2 are. So this is going to be 200. So they are asked how many candidates appeared in the examination. We have considered that as X. So therefore 200 candidates appeared in the examination. In an examination, a student must get 40% marks to pass. Another student who gets 250 marks fails by 14 marks. Find the maximum marks. So we let the maximum marks be X. So passing marks is what is that passing marks? Another student who get 250 marks fails by 14 marks. Means what is that fails by 14 marks? Means total passing marks was 250 plus 14. Means that was 264. Hope this sentence is clear. So the passing marks marks is 264. So marks to pass what is given here? A student must get 40% marks to pass. So that is 40%. So what is that? 40% of this maximum marks, that is X, that is 250. So here will be 40 by 100 into this X is 
sorry, this will be, but because this is, we already written here 264. So here we are going to write here 264. Because the passing mark is 250 plus this by the failed marks. So the passing marks is 264. So now you are, what is that? X will be 264. This will go here. That will be into 100. And this is divided by 40. So this will be, this and this goes off. Fourth ones are 466. Will be 264 into 10. So this will be 66 into 10. That is going to be 660. So what they have asked, find the maximum marks that we are considered as X. So X is 660. So we can write your maximum marks is 660. So by this one, we have completed today's work. Do like and subscribe to my channel so you get the notification of other parts. Thank you.